Don't you ever get tired of waiting. Waiting for your crush to text you back. But then she fucking does it. Waiting for that Hall of Fame badge you've been grinding for. To finally pop up. Waiting for you to be able to finally afford a car. Sometimes waiting so long will drive you insane. So insane you'll fall out of character. You become a true villain. A menace. You hear that NBA 2K? You're gonna make all the people like me, all the badge grinders, a fucking maniac. And there's only one solution for NBA 2K18 to employ. And I have it. Remember NBA 2K17, remember NBA 2K16's problem about my park? People did not know how long it took until the next rep. So in NBA 2K17, they included a rep bar, a rep percentage finally added to the rep bar. So everybody knew how much time it would take until you got to the next rep and people started to plan it out people started to be able to know the percentages know how long it takes know the difference between all-star one and superstar one and superstar one and superstar three so it was a way better system and by the way in 2k16 remember rep bars were being frozen i mean god damn my rep bar got frozen a couple of times and you know what i had to do my rep bar was frozen so many times, I had to put a piece of tape on my monitor. A piece of tape on my monitor just so I could know my rep wasn't frozen. Now, in NBA 2K17, now, it hasn't happened to me. I don't think it has happened to anybody. But if your rep bar would have happened to freeze in NBA 2K17, guess what? You would know because you have the rep percentage. And after a game, if you win a game and you don't get any rep, you know your rep bar is frozen, but it hasn't happened in NBA 2K17. Now, how does this apply to badges? Remember in the beginning of every single 2K, people are always wanting to know. And see, right here I get finally the Paint Protector Pro badge. But uh, people always know, always want to know, how long does it take to get this badge? How many shots you got to make? How many shots you got to shoot? Remember, back in the beginning of NBA 2K17, the badge that people were having the most problems with was Ankle Breaker. People are spreading false information about how to get the ankle breaker badge. How long does it take to get ankle breaker? Now, sure, there's some sites that actually post the statistics, but who's counting all those statistics? And then again, even if they post how many shots you gotta take or how many moves you gotta do to get a certain badge, you still have to be able to figure out how to do it. So if NBA 2K18 were to incorporate a system where every time you do a move that would lead to a badge, it tells you that people would know which move to do because no one no one knew how to get ankle brick at first some people just told you to spam dribble moves which was me i said to spam dribble moves that wasn't the answer people didn't know that you had to do a double move leading to a score 200 times to get ankle breaker and then this brings it up to hall of fame people want to also know how long does it take to get the hall of fame badge after you get the bronze badge i mean i was trying to get rim protector for the longest time and i was like how many blocks does it take to get Rim Protector Hall of Fame after you got Rim Protector? It took a while, man. It takes about 240 blocks. I know that now. But before, I wouldn't know that. And, and, and there's things like what? There's things like setting screens, brick wall, calling for screens. There's some games where I'd be like, yo, how do I ha not have brick wall yet? How do I not have pick and roll maestro? I've literally been calling thousands, hundreds of screens, setting hundreds of screens in five to six games in a row, and I still don't have the badge. But guess what? If 2K were to have a system in 2K18 where they would tell you how much or how long you needed to complete to get to a badge, you know, something out of like 20 out of 50 or something like that, how many screens you got to set, if you set 49 out of 100 screens and you need 51 more screens to set, that would make every single person happy, man. There would be no more doubt in badge grinding. You would have no more doubt. You would know how to get every single badge because as soon as you did the move, you would get the counter. The counter would go up. You could check the counter, check the counter during the game, check the counter after the game for every single badge. There are some badges in this game people struggle to get. And, it's, and watching a couple of videos sometimes doesn't even help to get the badge. 
And the same thing applies to grand badges, man. Grand badges are very important in this game. And some people don't even know how long it takes to get a grand badge. And people keep sending me messages on PSN. I don't have this grand badge, Waffle. I keep doing the same thing for 10 to 12 games in a row. I still don't have the grand badge. Why is it taking so long? Because you don't know. But guess what? If you would have know how long it would take, if you would know how many, if you would have know how many shots you got to take or how many blocks you got to get, then nobody would need to ask the question because guess what? The answer is right in front of you, man. And that's my point, man. After grinding for all these badges, and I am the archetype king, I've grinded for every single one of my archetypes, every single badge. God damn, this system is freaking terrible man and the same shit applies to the stamina because stamina getting in this game is very annoying you got to go to practice and complete each of the five things in in the freaking weight room to get stamina or hustle sometimes it gives you hustle which is very annoying because i don't want hustle i want stamina but yeah man that's it for my rent thing let me know what you think in the comment section man would this system be beneficial to everybody of course it does man it makes perfect sense this is something 2k has to do because guess what I'm tired of goddamn waiting without knowing. But anyways, I'm out for now. Peace.